Good afternoon, fourth graders. Tomorrow is Earth Day, and to celebrate Earth Day, I've brought you to one of my most favorite places. This is the Torch Lake Township Park here in Hubble, right on the shore of Torch Lake. Many evenings during the summer and even in the spring and the fall, Mr. Olson and I come down here and we sit on a swing and, and we enjoy this beautiful landscape out here. Here you can see water, you can see how nice and clear it seems to be along the shore here. Sometimes we even get to see some fish in the water. There is a lovely boat dock over here and we can sit here on the swing and watch boats come in and out and even sometimes people talk to us about the fish that they catch. There's lots of geese that have made their home around here. There's even some geese over here and there's a little uh, stream here that has some runoff from the higher elevations of Hubble. You can see that here. Water's running off, the ice is melting. It is just a beautiful place. Every 4th of July, the Torch Lake Township 4th of July picnic is right here where we're standing. They said the fire department sells food and there's music and all kinds of games for kids to play. It is just a terrific place to be and I'm really thankful that that I live pretty close. Well, it's hard to believe that only about 120 years ago there were stamp mills all along the shores of this beautiful, beautiful lake. smelter where it would have been melted and poured into molds and later shipped away to be made into different products. The rock though was actually dumped right into Torch Lake. This is a picture of the Quincy Mining Company's stamp mill that was down in Mason which is just down the road maybe two miles from here. Quincy had a stamp mill here and Calumet and Hecla had a stamp mill here among other mining companies. And just like I said, this is where the rock would have been crushed, the, iron, the copper taken away, and the poor rock, the leftover rock, would have been dumped out here into this beautiful, beautiful lake. Sadly, that rock and other chemicals used in the mining process that were dumped into this lake made it so that this lake was really, really polluted. Besides the mining waste, the people of this area also used this lake as a dump. If you notice over here to our left, you see that big lump of land over there sticking out into the lake? Well, that's not natural to this area. That's actually the covered up remains of the Hubble dump. Inside of that hillside is all kinds of dump from about a hundred years ago when people just dumped their trash into the lake. Sadly today, you really shouldn't even swim in this lake. Come on over here, let's take a look at this sign. Here's a sign that's posted right on this beautiful beach. It says, Torch Lake Township advises do not swim in this area due to potential hazards posed by wastes present in the beach sand and in the water as a result of historic activities in this area. And those historic activities would have been just people living here and also mining activity. So this beautiful place, this beautiful beach, is beautiful and it looks clean enough, looks like a great place to go swimming, but there's all sorts of things hidden in the sand 
and in the water that could be harmful to people if you went swimming in there. So the question for Earth Day today is this. So 120 years from now, we want to have a place where your kids and your grandkids and probably even your great-grandchildren can go swimming and can enjoy being outside, playing, without being in a harmful environment that could hurt them. And so what I want to ask you is what can you do today to help our environment? We've talked about reduce, reuse, recycle, repair. That's all so important. I want you to think up something that you can do today, maybe even in the next week, that will be helpful to the environment that you live in. And I want you to email them to me. And we're going to share them on our first look, our next first look. All right? Enjoy Earth Day. Get outside. Have fun. But work hard to keep our environment healthy. Bye now.